Welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the Indianapolis Colts playbook looking at gun flanker close and this is actually ironically the perfect scheme to run with the Colts because they have Jonathan Taylor and this is a running back centric scheme, a running back heavy scheme. Not only are we going to be handing the ball to him, we're going to be throwing the ball to him. He's going to be going on, on pass routes and everything else here. But of course we're going to start with the run game here. Um, we typically like to have a run right, run left, right, because we want to get to those. We always talk about um, being able to run where they don't have bodies. We want to run where we have more people to block where they don't. So we want to be able to get to that in our audibles. Here we don't necessarily have it because we're out of shotgun, but we do have an inside zone and a halfback sweep. So obviously here, I mean, they're really, really light up the middle. So you want to run that inside zone and break out a big run, right? And then once you hit that a few times, or maybe they have inside stuffs or something like that, you still have this halfback sweep to be able to kind of get those holes outside more, and you can kind of see the difference in between, right? Uh, you can still cut the halfback zone, or um, the inside zone here, let's get to the inside zone. You can, I mean, you can still obviously kind of run the inside zone to the outside. I mean, there's, I mean, it's still a really good run to the outside. So you could kind of cut that on, on the repetitiveness there. Um, but they are different runs, right? Isaiah McKenzie does a good job blocking there. Um, and you can just see breaking the big runs, a little bit difference in between them, um, between the sweep and the inside zone. So I do like to have them both uh, in this game. As you see, I came out in the inside zone, I called the inside zone, and I have the sweep and the audibles along with these three pass plays here um, that we can really just get into now because, I mean, the run game is pretty simple. Um, we're only running runway. Um, if they go light up the middle, you have the run up the middle. They go lighter outside. Um, obviously, the sweep as well puts a little bit more stress on the user because um, they don't just have to come straight downhill. They kind of go make a play to the left or right side of the field, depending on if, if you flip it or not. So I do like the run game. Both really, really good runs. Um, both both, both really solid runs. So first pass that we'll get into here is F, choice spot. I really like this one. All we're going to do is streak B, uh, Pierce over there. And this is going to kind of create kind of create a sale concept on the run on the right side of the field with those three over there. And you can see Isaiah McKenzie is on an option route in the uh, slot over there. Sits down against zone, breaks off to the left against man. Really, really like that as well. So uh, you can kind of figure um, if you can kind of read very quickly that you see your sale concept on the right. You're getting man. You can kind of flip your head back around to the field and hit Isaiah McKenzie on on basically what turns into a short little out route you can kind of click on come back to the ball whatnot but we are trying to set up sale um and there i should have been a little bit quicker right it was man i just talked about it and i should have been able to uh, get through my reads a little bit quicker there i uh, hear it looks like man again and you can see those receivers do run into each other a little bit and that well good accuracy out of reads but you saw what i'm talking about there and be able to see okay diagnose man click on come back to the ball right very very almost automatic route um for isaiah mckenzie out of the slot and there you can just see, I should have threw it to A as well. There you can just see what this alignment on the right side of the field, this stack, um, can do to a defense here. We're obviously trying to set up here. Um, as you see, his, his outside release does kind of cause um, a little bit of messiness in between those two routes. But honestly, I'm okay with that because it just creates such just such crazy matchups. Such, I mean, you can just see both of these defenders. I'm, I have no idea what's going on here. Um, you can just see that both these guys, I mean, if I pass lead, uh, Pierce out to the right as well, I mean, that's probably, a, that's probably a catch as well. That's probably a touchdown as well. So either way, um, that stack type alignment over there really does, really does some nice stuff here and there. I mean, really should have caught the ball. I thought that was man, but, uh, McKenzie did a good job sitting down against, against the zone there. Taking a time out from the video here, I just want to thank you guys for clicking on the video and watching here. Uh, if you're if you're liking what you're seeing, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I just want to remind you to do that here. Trying to get over that 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, that's a big milestone, so we're looking to get there here. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year as the new season starts here. And yeah, just appreciate you guys checking out the videos, clicking the like, clicking the subscribe, commenting, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll keep it short and sweet and send it back to the video. Overall, I mean, we're trying to run sale on the right. You get the idea with that. We're, we're trying to hit that corner out, pull the zones down. And then once we're pulling those zones down, I mean, make them play their zone drops once we hit that over and over and over again, right? Then we have the underneath routes as much as we want. So really simple to set up. Um, we're trying to, that's that's what we're trying to hit, right? That's what we're trying to hit. We're trying to pull that corner down, pull that safety down, whatever's over there, open up the corner out and behind it. Super simple. You've seen, you've seen sale ran. I mean, if you go check out the videos on this channel, I mean, we, 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 we're, sales probably in there. Sales probably in there. Go to watch it. So, next one here is mesh spot. Really like this concept as well. We're gonna streak Pierce again. Um, number one, 
obviously this he's in a tender spot obviously i mean this is perfect alignment closed look uh looks like a cover three shell something like that he's in a very good spot to uh hit those seams so uh, we want to streak him kind of as much as possible as well so and obviously we're just running mesh underneath with jonathan taylor kind of um flooding out to the right as well kind of um putting what would be a corner in a cover three in this case we'll just kind of run it here and we'll just show you what i mean putting this corner you can see in a bad spot need a throwing ability there a little bit but um we're trying to put i believe that was a uh, slay over there maybe if we could hold on to the ball long enough he would kind of have to pick in theory between pierce and uh jonathan taylor so well, let's get back to mesh spot and of course we just have mesh underneath and i always like to kind of include this if i can just because mesh is such an easy concept to run um in madden because the user can't cover both uh drag routes and the computer does still a terrible job of covering of covering drag routes so very easy to pick which one is going to be open throw the drags underneath and of course like i said you still have that running back um to kind of as your big play down the field right using him as a clear out using pierce as a clear out um and trying to hit that running back as well that was kind of against man there but against zone pierce pushing them pushing the zones down the field and then kind of hitting jonathan taylor out of the backfield that's kind of how you would use the running back out of this play here and then with mesh on the outside and of course you still have that big you still have the big route on the outside uh, to the left side of the field as well big go route so pretty simple there like i said i really like to include mesh in a lot of the schemes simple play very easy yards um it's kind of always good to just have in your hot routes um so yeah, F choice spot, mesh spot, two really nice plays. Last one here is escape. And I don't know why Isaiah McKenzie is doing this in this play. I, de de I don't know what's going on. But all I'd like to do is streak Pittman, creating um, basically as a clear out. McKenzie coming up with a big, a big uh, corner out, a deep corner out, uh, kind of underneath of that. Pierce is going to be running towards the middle of the field on a big old post. Um, Downs is going to be getting on just a basically a simple a simple out route and then jonathan taylor is going to be running what basically turns into a zig route which is really nice because um you can kind of hit it at a lot of different points right he, he breaks like two or three different times any one of those breaks you're going to be able to throw the ball right uh, of course we'll let isaiah do his thing um like you can kind of see here throw it on the first break lead it inside he can catch well there he dropped it i believe yeah he dropped the ball there but you, you can see there the pass was there to kind of hit there and bro, i hate isaiah mckenzie right now um but yeah you can just see i mean there's a ton of different spots that you can throw that right first break second break wasn't the best spot there but um ton of different windows i guess to throw that and of course you are creating kind of like a um high low read off to the right side of the field once jonathan taylor gets out there with the out route and here of course we're gonna get man again and i should have threw that much 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 sooner i don't know what i was doing right there i have no idea I mean, you're going to create a high low read over once jonathan taylor gets out of course we're going to get man right of course man actually he was wide open right there both of these guys were looking down at him and, of course, that, and again that's just kind of what happens too as well with this with like again with that stacked alignment stacked type alignment off to the right just kind of weirds out the zone sometimes really like this flanker close thing here and there i'm trying to hit him they're running man against me should have just settled for the running back underneath um very 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 nice route but yeah on the right side of the field we're just trying to set up a really really basic high low read here with oh couldn't fit quite the ball in there we kind of yeah, that's good enough to show you exactly what we're talking about right here so we're going to the instant replay be able to put i believe it was this guy here yeah right here 26 jonathan taylor see him breaking out underneath um he actually turns his back this is free yards underneath to Jonathan Taylor. This guy turns his back. He has no idea. We might even be able to make him miss and, I mean, you know, gain whatever down the field. But he ran back with the um, the out route there. If he would come down and play Jonathan Taylor, that's where we throw the out route. So that was really, really what uh, amounted to a bad read there on my part. But overall, very simple scheme here. Um, and on the left side of the field as well, I mean, we can try to sort of have that as well i mean that can be like a man beating route as a corner route if you kind of hit him on the break yeah route tech, a route tech eventually if that's ever a thing in the game um ability wise but really good scheme here a lot of different things you can get to a lot of different um a lot of different plays here and there i mean that's where it just gets silly because like you get you get him on like a linebacker or something like that and he breaks here he breaks there um a lot of different ways to get the ball to the running back here run the game um 
out of this F choice bot. I mean, he's kind of like your just flat route here, but mesh bot, uh, escape, really, really good ways to get the ball to running back. But that's really it for gun flankers close out of this indie playbook. Um, really good way to just throw the ball down the field, get the ball, get the ball uh, involved with the running back. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the scheme. Let me know if you guys can incorporate this into your scheme. If you're an indie or maybe you're going to switch to indie and try to build something out of this. Um, yeah, let me know what it is you want to see next on the channel. Um, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. I think you guys know how, how all that stuff works. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Pushing for a thousand subs here. And yeah, hope to catch you guys here in the next one.